Jaya Jaya, gorgeous tribe, after the videos yesterday about celery and juicing, some of you were asking what I put into my juice when I do it myself, so here we go. Ginger, turmeric, apple, lemon, tomato, this is mint, and cucumbers. This will do for about two liters of juice, and it's freaking delicious. I know that in terms of food combination, maybe the tomato is not too adapted to be there, but yeah, it's nice the taste and it makes lots of juice and uh, I'm using a fast juicer, okay, this is what I'm doing here and um, yeah, super easy to prepare in the morning it gives me a serious, beautiful, amazing blast um, very often I don't use the turmeric because it gives a strong taste but basically this, this is what I use most of the time, so you have it something else that you notice about this combination is that I don't have spinach, I don't have celery, I don't have kale, I don't have greens right in there except for the for the mint and the reason why I don't have that is because when I use the fast juicer over here then there is a lot of leftover in the form of fiber and uh, I prefer using the spinach directly uh, in the form of salad or in the form of steamed and the same with the kale and uh, if I want to do slow juice, uh, those those uh, greens, then I will use a slow juicer that I have here as well. Um, but here we go. This is my my insights on that. And um, yeah, this is why you don't have uh, those greens in in here. So here you have it. After taking all these ingredients and juicing them. I've got my two liters, exactly two liters. Wow, that was <laughs> that wasn't planned, but this is exactly what I got. Each bottle is 500 milliliters, and I will probably, you know, drink straight away uh, one liter, and then I have another liter for the rest of of the morning. So by 10 o'clock, all of that will be drank in my system, and that flushes really my intestines, gives a sense of deep, profound cleansing. It's energizing. It's fresh and it gives my stomach a little bit of a break before bringing in more solid foods. Um, at 10 o'clock I will start with smoothies and then at noon I will have a small meal which is like a vegan bowl with different ingredients that I will mention in another video. Hope you like it! For full transparency I want to mention this as well because when you do juicing you will have leftovers, right? And this is what I have left after juicing those two liters and uh, yeah there is some fiber and uh, things that I'm going to simply uh, throw away and put in the compost for now. I know that you know this is not 100% perfect because there is some leftover but all of that can be eventually used. I know that you know you have recipes for instance with, for making breads with that or uh, you know different different things that you can do at this stage. I don't have really the solution um, but um, Yeah It's it's an aspect that you have to get used to and uh, Basically be okay with that when you are juicing you are going to have some form of leftovers after the juicing process Here we go my first bottle for the day usually I drink it directly when I'm juicing over there I'm not going to put it in a bottle but just to, um, yeah, I wanted to show you the, the volume and the amount that I'm getting out of that. Um, another aspect of the juicing, which is really, really important, it is that you need to plan it, okay? <laughs> You're not going to wake up in the morning with ingredients if you didn't buy them. So I've got a supplier who brings organic um, uh, ingredients uh, to my place uh, once or twice a week, and you need to accept to invest with your budget, okay? In there, I probably have um, $80.00 of uh, supplies a week, not just for the juicing with all the greens and everything that I'm buying. So the juicing might be um, about maybe 30 or 40 dollars. So I will have probably something like five to 10 dollars a day of um, yeah ingredients for the juicing. So it's really important that you plan all that so that everything you need is in your fridge when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> 